네, 거의 오전 프로그램 몇개 담지 않았는데요. 이어지는 순서는요. 블록체인 상호 운영 솔루션에 대해서 ARK의 공동 창립자이시죠. 스컷 맥퍼슨님께서 설명을 해주시겠습니다. Hi everybody. My name is Scott McPherson, and I am one of the co-founders of ARC and the ARC ecosystem. And I'm very happy to be here as a gold sponsor and speak to all of you about what our platform is. And I understand I have 15 minutes, is that right? Okay, 15 minutes. So uh, do you guys have like one of those hooks you can pull me off stage with? Because I'd like to talk. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can go ahead, yeah. no problem. Tranquilizer gun, no? Okay, <laughs> all right, so. ARC.io, point-click blockchain, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, what is ARC? What are we made up of? Uh, we are a utility token, a cryptocurrency, our own blockchain, and a huge toolbox of tools for developers to create their own blockchain and to build decentralized applications on top of that. So how do you start this? Our, our initial goal was to form some semblance of interoperability uh, among thousands of coins out there, I think 1,500 plus, we position ourselves right in the middle and work on ways to make blockchains communicate with each other. And we've actually done this. Right now we have connections that are active between the Bitcoin network, the Litecoin network, and Ethereum. And initially these are one-way communications whereby if you have an ARC token and execute a transaction on the ARC network, you can trigger a corresponding transaction on one of these other networks. And initially, these are one-way transactions, but recently we have them formed to be bi-directional, so they can go back and forth. And I don't think anyone else has this. I don't think anyone really knows this. So what is the ARC ecosystem? At the heart of it is our own blockchain. This is not a ERC-20 token. Uh, this is our very own blockchain been running for almost a year and a half now and a whole host of other items and words, and most of them I'll try to get through. Uh, the ARC Core, which is our blockchain software, desktop wallets, mobile wallets, the online ARC Explorer, Ledger Wallet integration, our corporate structure, the SCIC, a bunch of other terms. Our goal, which is push button blockchains, ARC Deployer, ACES encoded listeners, education opportunities, ARC Virtual Machine, and uh, the reality is most of this is done. This is not a promise. This is not something that we're going to build. Um, we did our ICO in 2016. We've been running our blockchain and developing like crazy since then with our own network running since maybe 2017. And like I said, most of this is done. It's done, it's coded. A lot of it's on version two, some of it's on version three. And we're completing some things that will hopefully bring this all together and give developers an amazing platform to build whatever they want. So at the heart of this is our corporate structure. We are incorporated in France as an SCIC, and the loose translation is a collective cooperative society, uh, a public foundation, a volunteer organization, an individual, a corporation. Anybody can participate in this, become a shareholder, and contribute to the direction of ARC and the ecosystem, which we aim to have completely decentralized in the hands of the community. And this, this is important because with legitimate business structure, it gives credibility to blockchain product projects. And uh, we're very happy to be incorporated in France, which is where our lead developers are from. Uh, we started off in March of 2017 on one exchange on Bittrex. I think our valuation was a penny. We didn't really care at that time. Um, and since then, we're up to 18. And we bounced off $10 back in December, January, and since that time, like everybody else, have slid violently down towards the earth. I think we're around $1.56 right now, which is okay. We really don't care. It's all gonna go back up. There's so much room in this cryptocurrency world for new money to come in, for increased growth. There's so much momentum. There's so much new interest, so many new projects and so much money waiting on the sidelines for the uh, game of musical chairs to begin again. And the music is gonna start soon, and it's gonna be loud. So, right now, this is where we are, and everyone knows everything is gonna go up. Despite that meager graph on the 
slide before, we remain in the top 10 return on investment ROI of all time. And I, these are recent stats, and we're still floating around four, five, or six. And uh, so if you participated in our initial offering, you, even though everything's gone down, you should still be very pleased. At the core of ARC is the ARC Core blockchain. Again, this is our own blockchain software uh, running for almost a year and a half now on our own network. It is very fast, it is very lean. It uses a consensus model called Delegated Proof of Stake, which we think is the best model, better than any other model out there. I'll talk more about that. It has really fast block times, eight second block times, and built into each transaction is uh, something called a, a vendor field where you can put a trigger, a snippet of code, something in there to trigger a transaction on another blockchain, and that is the foundation for the connections that our blockchain can make with any other blockchain. And they can be any blockchain. You can build a listener to use this function and connect with any blockchain if you want to. And it's all open source. So delegated proof of stake is a consensus system. And like I said, we think this is the best one. Um, I mean, if you think about proof of work, it uses a tremendous amount of electricity. There's thousands of these specialized mining rigs all over the world. It uses more electricity than Ireland and several other small countries combined. And it just does not seem like a model that is sustainable. Uh, delegated proof of stake uses delegates. Uh, there are hundreds of ARC nodes out there right now all running on their own servers, and the top 51 are elected into a forging delegate status. Everybody who owns ARC can go into the wallet. They can review delegates. They can vote for who they want to, somebody who's contributing to the ecosystem, whether it's coding a project, whether it's working on media items, whether it's working on documentation. There, there, there are thousands of voters behind these delegates electing them into that spot. Every account has one vote. Do you have a bigger amount of ARC in your account? Your weight is higher, you have a bigger vote. But the bottom line is this acts like a decentralized um, representative democracy, where these delegates, although you say, oh, 51 delegates, well, that's not decentralized, you know? You can just you know, take a few delegates and take over the system. No, you can't, because there are thousands of voters behind all these delegates. And if they don't perform and do what they say they're gonna do, they're out. And it's happened. It's not a cartel. It's not a, a good old boys club. You know, thousands of voters behind each of these delegates. So, you know, you can lose your spot and somebody else can get voted in. Despite our blockchain working well, we identified a lot of problems with it. And for the past seven months, our development team has been working on version two of our blockchain. Again, this is our own blockchain from the ground up. Once this is done, it likely well, is done. It's in testing right now. But this will have no legacy code left over from Lister Crypty from years, years ago. And it takes all the blockchain functions and just, you know, simply speaking, divides them up into their own environment. It's a multi-threaded application where each function of the blockchain software is in its own environment, can run on its own core. It makes it much more efficient, it makes it very fast, um, and there's a lot of things built into it that are designed to increase um, development in the future using modular design. So along with the eight second block times and 51 delegates, we're implementing dynamic fees, multi-signature transactions, multi-payments, time-lock transactions, and transaction expiration, a bunch of fancy terms that just increase the way that our blockchain can be used. Also with our second version of the blockchain, it's a modular design, it's gonna be like Legos. So if you have a module you want to plug into your blockchain or remove or upgrade, you can do this in a modular fashion without disrupting the rest of your, of your coding. One of the other things we have developed are desktop wallets. Um, very elegantly designed wallet, it works very well. You can see all of your ARC, you can vote, you can send transactions, you can review market data. Um, this is just an example of one of the screens where you can see all your accounts on the one side, and the cool part about it is when you conduct a transaction on the ARC network or on your own blockchain, should you use ARC's tools to clone and build your own blockchain, you see the transaction and the confirmation is taking place in eight seconds right inside that wallet. You know, you're not going back to some other browser every half an hour to see if your transaction went through. We're very proud of this. For quite some time, we've been uh, integrated with Ledger Wallet, hardware wallet, uh, the first DPoS coin to do that. 
And when you plug your ledger hardware wallet into your computer, it opens right up inside of our wallet, and any of the functions that you need to do on the ledger show up inside of the wallet on your desktop. So as far as sending and receiving, and looking at your balances, and examining you know, the status of your tokens, that's all done in your wallet, yet you have the safety of, of a hardware device. And so your ledger info would show up as one of those accounts, along with the other accounts that you have in your wallet. So this took a lot of work, and it's a good design, and uh, that wasn't good enough, so they're deciding to recode it from the ground up, so they can include some other modular components to it, for future development. So this is in progress right now and uh, will be done soon. We have the mobile wallet. Wallets available on iOS and Android. They're already out. You can download these and use them. Um, some of them are in their you know, second and third update status as they continue to be improved. And everything you can do on the desktop wallet, you can do in the mobile wallet, which is you know, market data, looking at your account, making different wallets, uh, it's, it's fully functional. You could use this and actually not need to have a desktop wallet too. Online tools, we have the Arc Explorer. You can review transaction data, you can review market information, you can look at the latest transactions, you can look at all the blocks and examine them, you can monitor all the delegates and see if they're up or if they're down, um, and the, the, the status, the forging status for all the delegates. And again, the delegates are the 51 nodes that secure the Arc network and are responsible for keeping the art network safe. So all of this stuff together, the blockchain, the, um, the wallets, the online things um, are good, but to really encourage development, uh, you, we need to provide a toolbox of, of languages and API clients for developers to use if they, they want to build things. And right now, we have 18 different languages and API clients. Most of them are completed. There's a few left that aren't quite completed yet. And uh, while, uh, while Arc is, is a, you know, based on JavaScript, if you're a developer and you're, you're familiar with something else, you really should be able to find something up there that you'd like to work with. Um, and if that's not enough, they've actually already rewritten most of these languages and API clients to work with the second version of the blockchain, which is coming out soon. Uh, using all this stuff, some of the things that have been built, uh, something that is sponsored by ARC called ARC Contract Execution Services, or ACES for short, they have constructed intermediary listening nodes that listen on the ARC network for transactions and will conduct a corresponding transaction on another blockchain. So initially, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Litecoin, like I mentioned earlier, with one-way connectivity, and this is actually in use right now. Initially, it was one way you would execute a, or a, a, a transaction on the ARC network, causing a corresponding transaction on a second network to be executed. And uh, not too long ago, they got it bi-directional. And that's for three networks that they can be connected to. Um, but the reality is, this is open source. These are tools. Anybody can use this stuff, and you can connect it to any coin that you want. Our developers are tremendously, tremendously into education. They'd probably rather go to hackathons around the world than do anything else. Um, you know, North America, the U.S., United Kingdom, Geneva, France, you know, Romania, back to Princeton, where else? University of Maryland, Geneva. Uh, there's a lot of others they've gone to that aren't up here. And there have been so many really cool projects that students have used using our tools to build their own projects within a couple of days. I mean, within 48 to 72 hours, this group of kids will create their own blockchain, build their own application, and put a project together using the ARC blockchain and the toolbox that we provide for developers. And we've taken all these projects and condensed them into one spot so you can go and you can see everything that's been done at all these different hackathons. So this brings us to something called push-button blockchains. This is the next step beyond interoperability. Now that we have this way to have connections back and forth between blockchains, our ultimate goal is to create a system where as a developer, you have tools, you have a graphical configuration, you click off what components you want on your blockchain, you know, how many delegates, how many nodes, the block times, how many tokens, there's a whole bunch of parameters that you can configure 
And you push a button and you get your own blockchain. It's running on a seed server, and then you take these nodes and you spread them out to wherever you want. And this is something that is right now, and you can do. Mods are designed, there are modules that we're de there we are developing so that when you configure your blockchain, you can choose some different modules. A couple of the ones that are in process right now are the Arc Virtual Machine that is ported from Ethereum. You can run smart contracts. So configure your own blockchain, run smart contracts on it. Interplanetary file system is another a module that's under development, so you can do file storage. And the first iteration of push button blockchains is also complete, and that's the ARC deployer. It's not a graphical interface, it is a script-based deployer, it's a command line interface. And right now, this is what the kids at the Hackathons have been using recently. You can pick your parameters, enter what you want, and run the script and generate your own blockchain, usually in well under an hour. Everything is open source. There are you know, 57, 59 repositories. We're approaching probably 10,000 commits. It is a huge community. It is a very active community. There are people working on this stuff all the time, and it is, is growing. Every time I look at it, it's bigger and bigger. So if I can have you take anything away from all this, it's this slide, point-click blockchain. We want to develop a platform. Actually, we have developed a platform. We want to perfect and hone a platform so that developers have an amazing toolbox, including a blockchain and lots of languages and tools that they can use to build their dream decentralized application for any reason. And we don't even know what they're going to build. We have no idea the use cases that are going to pop up for this. I mean, you know, the easiest one that comes to my mind is if you're a small regional store and you've got 50 years you know, 40, 50 stores, and you want to use blockchain for whatever it might be. Uh, you know, inventory, financial reasons, scheduling. You don't have to try to build your own blockchain or use something else. You can literally push a button, have your own blockchain, dish it out to your stores, each of your stores is a node. The, the possibilities are literally endless. And like I said, um, people are going to come up with stuff to use in the blockchain world that we are can't even dream of right now. So our core blockchain, a huge toolkit, and a modular ecosystem that makes it easy for developers to use. And the best analogy that we've come up with is we are going to be the WordPress of blockchains. Just like you would use WordPress to encode, you know, to, to develop your own web page. No one codes their own web page. I mean, maybe way back in the days of Mosaic 1 or Netscape. So the WordPress for blockchains, giving developers the tools to create their own blockchain, however they want to do it, and deploy it easily. So our roadmap is online. There's a ton of information on our roadmap in our blog. Um, please take a look at it. And I am done. And I'm only over by a few minutes. OK. Uh, we're out of the booth. Happy to talk to you guys later, answer any questions you have. Thank you very much.